rare and more or less swift action, a 30-year-old man has been arrested for breaking into a house in broad daylight and stealing over 90 sovereigns of gold jewelry. The arrested has been identified as Darul Falah Ismail from Irikur in Kannur. The burglary was held at Prashanti, the residence of Devi, a LIC administrative officer at Shastriji Nagar Trishur Road on January 1st. There was a loss of around rupees 36 lakh. The accused was arrested from Kalanyur in Patramthitta following an investigation centered around his mobile phone. The police have recovered 95 sovereigns of stolen gold ornaments from his possession. His mail had also confessed to robbing a house in Punalur last month. The police also recovered rupees 14 lakh from him. The theft took place when Devi, a homemaker, went to attend her relative's wedding around 10.30 in the morning. He travelled by a bus to Shastriji Nagar and walked to Devi's house. After realising that there was no one in the house, he went upstairs and broke open the back door and entered the house. Ismail was inside the house even when Devi returned home around 3 p.m. As per the statement of the accused, he opened the back door and jumped over the wall and ran after realizing that someone had entered the house. The thief's escape was after destroying all the evidence. He burned small purses containing gold. A plastic container in the kitchen was burned. Coconut oil was spilled on the floor. The accused also used a special wiper fluid. When he realized that the owner of the house had arrived, he took all the gold and went out the same way he had entered and even asked for a lift before returning to the city. Devi says that when she entered the house, all the things in the cupboards were scattered. Most of the jewellery given to Devi by her parents were stolen. Most of this jewellery was recovered from a jeweller in Kohikud. Some of this was in liquid form. Ismail is different from the usual thieves who spotted empty houses and committed robbery in daylight. If he thinks there is no one in the house, he will ring the calling bell. In case someone opens the door, he will ask for someone's address. If no one opens the door, he will try to break into the house. It was on the fifth day after the robbery in Kundamkulam that the police identified Ismail as the burglar. After that, he was arrested on the tenth day. The first thing the police did was to prepare a list of thieves who commit daytime robberies. Then the investigation was focused on the mobile tower location of the thieves who were in Trishur on that particular day. It was later discovered that Ismail, who was released from Mavilikar jail in early December, had come to the district. The police found a similarity between the picture of Ismail and the picture obtained from the CCTVs of the area, which helped the investigation. Suspicion grew stronger after his mobile was found to have been switched on and off more frequently. After following the phone location, it was learned that he was in Patanandita district. After finding the residence of Ismail's female friend here, the arrest was made. The police also said that he had a network of women to help him sell the looted jewellery. News Desk, Global.